The daily experience shows that a magnet attracts iron, but who would have ever thought that all the bodies are attracted to each other because of their mass? Of course, it's Isaac Newton, the one who discovered gravity in the 17th century through the famous apple story. But most of us believe that this attractive force only relates to Earth, which is actually not true. It's which then Benenny, and in this video, I will explain Newton's law of universal gravitation. First, let me take you back back in those years. Between 1609 and 1619, and more exactly, when Tycho Brahe charged Johannes Kepler to study planets' orbit, and Kepler deduced the three laws known as Kepler's law of planetary motion. Later, Newton, based on these laws, developed his theory of universal gravitation, outlined in his work Mathematical Principle of Natural Philosophy in 1687. And the law states, every point mass attracts every single other point mass in the universe. Nowadays, it is attractive reciprocal force that keeps the planets in orbit around the Sun and the Moon in orbit around the Earth. Roughly, this attractive force has an important role in the formation of the whole universe. And, just like every other force, the universal gravitation has also its four elements. So, let's look to the Earth and the Moon as two homogeneous spherical bodies of center A and B, mass MA and MB, and let the distance between the centers. The force F1 is the force applied by the Earth on the Moon, and F2, the force applied by the Moon on the Earth. The point of application is B for the force F1 and A for the force F2. The line of action is the one passing by A and B. The direction of the force F1 is toward the Earth, and of the force F2 is toward the Moon. Why? Simply because it's an attractive force, like if the Earth and the Moon were playing tug of war. And according to Newton's law of universal gravitation, the magnitude of these attractive forces is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Such as F1 equal F2 equal big G times MA times MB divided by D squared, which here equal to 1.98 times 10 to the power of 20 Newton. With big G, the gravitational constant, which equal to 6.67 times 10 to the negative power of 11 Newton times meter squared per kilogram squared. This formula also shows why this phenomenon is not observed between two bodies of weak mass, because it's negligible, and why it's only observed when at least one of the two bodies has a huge mass, such between the apple and the earth, and more appreciable in case of massive bodies, like between the planets and the stars. From now on, Newton's law of universal gravitation has no more secrets for you.